Hi friends, I recently reviewed IDU 8 pod hydroponic system and I really liked the design aspects of it. However, the design is not everything. I really want the results. So I put it into action and here is a result from phase 1 testing. Before I jump into the growth cycle and the results, let me tell you one thing that I missed in my initial review. In my initial review, I told that I couldn't detach the bowl from the light panel. But I recently learned that it can be detached. I just had to wiggle the bowl, pull it, push it, etc. to loosen the attachment and then pull the light panel base straight. Now I see everything is nearly perfect in the system and I am liking it. Now let's get into the growth cycle and check the results. Alright, the garden is ready with Saxato radishes. These radishes should be ready in about 25 days. It's day 3. The germination is pretty good. I see the seedlings in all pods. But these IDO stickers come with very small holes. I think the seedlings are struggling to come out. I see here the seedling is trying to come out but the other ones are kind of stuck into the sticker so I'm going to take a deeper look and help them I have two seedlings here so I took out one and helping the seedling to come out all right, I helped the seedlings, pulling them out a little bit. Hopefully they are good now. This one is too small. I couldn't pull it all the way up. But I'm going to watch it and uh, pull it out if needed. Now that I see the seedlings, I will start adding nutrition. I do comes with some nutrition, but I don't like it. Nothing wrong with it, but I just feel like it's a bit of tedious process to use them. And it is always expensive. So I use MaxiGrow for all herbs, leafy green vegetables and radishes. This is economical, easy to use and working very well for me. So I will be using MaxiGrow throughout this grow cycle. Here is the process. I simply add 2 teaspoons of dry nutrients to 100 ml of water, shake it well until all the solids are dissolved and then pour it into the bowl. It's day 7, the seedlings are coming up very nice. They even started developing radishes. I see these baby radishes developing on most of the seedlings. So it is all going very well so far. It's day 28. The radishes have grown pretty nice. They are looking pretty good. All radishes are in decent size. Just for comparison, here are the radishes in my Aero Garden Harvest. I started these at the same time. But the radishes in Aero Garden Harvest are really huge. The radishes in this I do are not bad, but they are small compared to Aero Garden. So overall, I am liking this I do 8 pod hydroponic system. It is not as powerful as Aero Garden Harvest, but this is definitely a decent one. Overall, this garden is designed pretty well and its performance is impressive. So far, so good. Durability is still an open question. It's just two months and I can't talk much about the durability. I will keep you posted as I am running more experiments in this garden. So please subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned. That is all for now. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.